Hi, Jean Lurson here, and at this time I have a few announcements to make. Finally, I finished my course on loose and textured florals. It was a long time in the making, but it's now done and up on my site at watercolors.jeanlurson.com. I have three floral tutorials in the course, and each one deals with a different way to create textures in your paintings. The idea behind the course is to encourage you to use your imagination and create interesting paintings that are unique. These courses enable me to continue doing these demonstrations on YouTube. I also want to give a shout out to Charlie O'Shields who runs World Watercolor Month. July is World Watercolor Month, in case you didn't know. If you visit his site at doodlewash.com, you can see all the things that he's selling to raise funds for a very worthy cause, the Dreaming Zebra Foundation, which provides art supplies for underprivileged children. 100% of the proceeds of these sales goes to this worthy cause. Every year he asks a number of artists to provide a painting that gets printed on these very useful pouches. I love taking part because of the fact that 100% of the proceeds goes to this worthy cause. It makes one feel good to be able to, to give back to the community, especially in these difficult times. Now I'm just going to do a little wet in wet floral demonstration. So I'm going to use some quinacridin magenta. We're going to do these warm-up exercises. I'm going to spritz not all over, just in a few places. On my, this, I'm using hot pressed, Archer's hot pressed paper, and I just want to create a few abstract florals. And I'm going to take my dagger brush. This is my number one scroggy loose goose dagger brush that I got from from Cheap Joe's and I'm going to use some perylene green which I think will go beautifully with this yes and um, really just sort of the, the, the nice thing about this is I'm, I'm holding it at the end so I've really got very little control this is a very long brush you, you can't do detail with it so that's the good thing and that's one of the reasons to use brushes like this just have fun and See, I did, in a very short time, I've done some uh, quick, very quick, loose florals. I'll probably crop this and use it as a, a card for somebody's birthday. I love this combination. What also goes very nicely with with quinacridone magenta is a color called Cascade Green by Daniel Smith which changes to bluish greenish colors as it's drying. It also looks uh, really nice with quinacridone magenta so try that too if you have it. I just had fun here and I'm really in the mood now to go ahead and paint something larger so you give it a try.